Cavalier King Charles Spaniel has been around for many centuries. In this long period, they have accumulated plenty of amazing facts that revolve around them. So, if you are newly in love with Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and want to know all about this loyal and graceful breed, then you have come to the right place. In this video, we will tell you 10 amazingly cool facts about Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, ranging from their coat color to their deep history and personality. Number 1. Nickname Nicknamed as the Comforter Spaniel, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is known for its loving and devoted nature. This breed is highly affectionate, patient, and eager to please. All these attributes make Cavalier King Charles Spaniel excellent around children. This breed also doesn't mind being around other dog breeds, and is quick to befriend them. So this breed is ideal for you if you already have a pet dog. The fact that this breed stands at 44th position in Stanley Corns The Intelligence of Dogs means that although this dog is generally obedient, it can still have a mind of its own and due to its curious nature, can wander off. Being lapdogs implies that they love cuddling on your lap and spending time with you. In fact, they are that friendly that it is actually advised not to leave them alone for an extended period of time. Otherwise, Cavalier would have to deal with separation anxiety. Number 2. Colors of King Charles Spaniel King Charles Spaniel comes in four kinds of coats. Cavaliers having rich chestnut markings on a pearly white background are called Blenheim in honor of the Blenheim Palace. Dogs having black bodies with tan highlights, especially on their eyebrows, cheeks, legs, and beneath the tail, are termed as black and tan. Ruby Cavaliers have a chestnut color all over. The fourth type of coat is called tricolor, characterized by having black and white backgrounds with tan markings on cheeks and eyebrows, on the underside of the tail and inside legs. Tricolor is also referred to as Prince Charles in King Charles Spaniel. Number 3, King Charles II of England. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel got its name from the English King Charles II, who was quite fond of this breed, and several portraits of him are present showing him standing next to Cavalier King Spaniel. He was so fond of these adorable balls that he issued a public decree that stated that no individual of this breed could be barred from entering any public place, including the Parliament House. Number 4, the Retro Spaniel. Due to King Charles's immense love for this dog, the breeder started breeding them with pugs, another favorite of the English royalty. This resulted in King Charles Spaniel's having pug signature features like a short muzzle and a dome-shaped skull. It was in the 1920s when Roswell Eldridge, an American by birth, tried rebuilding the breed like it was painted in 17th century portraits of Charles II of England. Eldridge was really passionate about rebuilding the breed and therefore it even offered a monetary prize of £25 or £1,160 in today's money to anyone who could exhibit a King Charles Spaniel with a long nose like in Van Dyke's portrait of King Charles before their breeding with pugs. Number 5. And Son. Roswell Eldridge sadly didn't live long enough to see his dream come true. In 1928, just a month after Eldridge's death, a woman named Mostyn Walker exhibited a King Charles Spaniel with a long prominent muzzle. That dog was called Anne's son, and soon enough, the dog gained enough popularity to have a club of his own made by his fans. All Cavaliers today are descendants of Anne's son and his brother Whizbang Timothy. Anne's son was an actual toy Spaniel. He weighed 10 to 12 pounds. He was a dainty Blenheim characterized by having a flat skull, long ears, and a fine muzzle. This breed was named Cavalier King Charles Spaniel to differentiate them from the pug-faced King Charles Spaniel. Number 6, The Recent Recognition. As stated earlier, this breed only goes directly back to the 1920s despite having a much richer history as the fine-muzzled Spaniel was extinct before the 1920s. It was due to the breeders preferring the pug-like features on the Spaniels. That's precisely the reason why this breed was recognized by American Kennel Club in 1995, making this breed only 25 years old, officially. Number 7, The Toy Spaniel. Even though this is a spaniel breed still they are considered toy dogs. Spaniels are hunting dogs are used for hunting during game seasons. Still, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel has a very negligible hunt drive, and they are first and foremost lap dogs. And that's the reason why the American Kennel Club categorizes them as toy dogs instead of spaniels. As mentioned earlier, this breed is overly friendly and, with the proper training, won't even think of hurting other animals, especially other pets such as birds that you might have. Number 8. Most Registered Dog in America this breed is growing more and more popular among Americans every year, and as a result of which this breed moved from 35th place in 2003 to 25th place in 2008. But it doesn't mean that scoring 25th place was the best they can do, as this breed scored 18th position in 2015, their all-time best. But surprise, surprise turns out that this breed was not content with 18th position, and therefore, this breed stood firmly in 16th place in the 2019 popularity list of the American Kennel Club. Number 9. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, Celebrity's Favorite, Hollywood Sweetheart and Legend Lauren Bacall, the same actress who was named 20th Greatest Actress of All the Time, was a big fan of Cavalier named Blenheim. After Blenheim died, 
she was deeply moved and lamented over his death. She kept a portrait of Blenheim on her bedroom wall till the day she died. Yes, Cavaliers can have this much greater impact on your life. Number 10. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, President's Favorite. So, you want to know to learn more about celebrities that were in love with this breed. What about a U.S. President? Ronald Reagan, 40th U.S. President, was a big aspirer of this breed. He made it quite clear by gifting her First Lady Nancy Reagan a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel as a Christmas gift in 1985 during his second term at the White House. They named the dog Rex. Rex spent a significant time in the White House and then moved to Los Angeles, and his owners after Reagan's term ended. So be it a liberal Democrat like Lauren Bacall or a staunch Republican like Reagan, this breed is liked universally.